your opinion about the G20 and the rights of minorities? In India, the rights of minorities are violated like anything last nine years. The places of worship like Babri Masjid, which was demolished by the RSS Hindutva terrorist in 1990, was given to them to build a temple over there. The judges and Supreme Court was heavily compromised. Indian constitution was heavily compromised. And the judgment was nothing but uh, a farce, you can say that. More like of a banana republic judgment. Lynchings of minorities are taking place regularly. Laws have been passed against minorities to harass them more and more at state and central level. More and more number of Muslims are being lynched uh, on regular basis. And uh, fake cases were put uh, against minorities. Churches were attacked. Mosques were attacked. Places of worship of minorities were attacked. Like Buddhist temples were attacked. And moreover, even the Jains are not being spared. They were attacked like anything. So I think that under Modi, the rights of minorities were violated, were brutally suppressed. And the result is uh, every nation of uh, ICC and uh, in United Nations General Assembly have condemned Modi government. Recently, the former president of America, Barack Obama, also have condemned Modi government related to the issues of minorities. So minorities were literally at the receiving end under Modi government. They were killed, they were raped, they were attacked, their places of worship were attacked. And Modi is not even doing the lip service in the right direction. He is again instigating the people by saying that you can identify them with the clothes. So identify the people with the clothes to attack. That is the indirect message Modi government is giving to the hooligans, Hindu thought terrorists of RSS, VHP, Bajrangdal, dangerous for the nation. G20, you are coming to my India, most welcome. Remember, every religious scripture says that the Lord, our God, is only one God. Worship Him alone to get peace, prosperity, success, security in both the worlds. Obey His final messenger, Muhammad Islam, and have success in both the worlds. Have Islam, get success.